So this session is on physical landscapes of the UK. All physical means is natural, nothing to do with humans at all. And we're going to be looking at three of them, upland areas. And the upland areas are the hilly and mountainous areas. Many people consider 600 metres um, to be the difference between a hill and a mountain. So anything above 600 metres is a mountain. We're going to be looking at lowland areas. These are the flatter areas, generally below 200 metres high. And finally, glaciated areas within the UK. These were the areas that were covered in ice um, 10,000 years ago when the last glaciation ended. So that's it for today. Upland areas, lowland areas, glaciated areas. Now, we're looking at the distribution of them, and all distribution means is how something is spread out or spaced out. Basically, where are these areas? So let's take a look. There is a map. It's a relief map of the UK. The darker areas, these brown areas, these are mountains. And the greeny yellow areas over here, these are much lower lying areas. So let's start by having a look at the uplands, the mountainous areas. They're found to the north and they're found all the way down this left side, the west side of our country. So they're to the north and the west. Um, here is Snowdonia, which is an example. Here is the Lake District, another example. Here are the Pennines. Here are the southern uplands. Uh, we've got the uh, Grampian Mountains over here and the Northwest Highlands. So all sorts of examples up of upland areas. These are harder rocks that resist erosion like slate and granite. Obviously, because you've got the mountains, the land is a lot steeper and it's also colder and wetter. Winds blowing off the Atlantic Ocean coming from over here, they crash into the mountains of forced upwards and we get um, something known as relief rainfall. Also, for every 100 metres you go upwards, it gets one degree centigrade colder. So if you started to climb Snowdon, Wales's highest mountain, um, it's about 1,000 metres high, you'd expect it to be 10 degrees centigrade colder at the top, which is why normally you need a jumper or a coat by the time you get to the top. Because they are hills and mountains, um, it's difficult for the water to go into the ground to infiltrate. And this gives us a very poor soil, very poor soils within this area. So the vegetation that grows is normally quite rough. It's not, not very good. And um, things such as bracken and heather. In the hills, we get things like sheep farming, quarrying and tourism. Sheep cope really well within upland areas. They're sure footed. They've got a thick fleece that keeps them warm um, during the winter. Now let's move on to our lowland areas. They're found down to the south, they're found the east side of the country, and an example is over here, which is Cambridgeshire. They're softer rocks that are more easily to break down and erode, and obviously the land is flatter. Because the climate is warmer and drier, um, crops grow really well um, within these areas. Um, because you've got flat land, the water drains into the ground, it's, use, it's easy to use farm machinery, and so dairy farming and arable farming, which is crop farming, um, takes place here. Um, very good soils indeed, they support the grassy meadows and forests that we see, and humans have spread out their cities here, and their industry, their infrastructure, such as roads and motorways, very, very easy to build um, on this flat land. So that shows the differences between uplands and lowlands. Let's move on now to the glaciated areas of the UK. Now, um, we know that these are our upland areas, the brown areas, and you'll see they um, go very, very well indeed with the, this white area on the map here. And this white area on the map shows areas that were covered in ice 10,000 years ago during the last ice age. So the areas that were covered in ice are generally speaking the upland areas of the UK. Now let's have a look at a bit more um, detail. During the last glacial period, ice covered the north and west of the country, but not the south and east. 
uh, when temperatures were lower, huge ice sheets grew in size and moved to cover areas further south. Now, in certain areas, these thick ice sheets were uh, miles thick with ice sitting on top of our country. Now, the ice was powerful. It carved out valleys and deposited lots of material as it melted. So all these parts of the UK that have got this white um, overlaying, um, you could find glacial features within these, these areas, such as U-shaped valleys, drumlins, um, all sorts of other features. So if we want to summarise what we've learned about today, um, this is a summary of uplands, a summary of lowlands, and a summary of information about the glaciated areas that you need for the exam.